Orcas are arguably the most impressive predators on this planet, and they have the perfect blend of power and intelligence. Orcas can prey on pretty much anything they come across, but not all orcas go after dangerous prey. As I've covered in many videos before, orcas are very complex creatures, and they're often misunderstood. As I went over in a recent video, there is only one species of orca, but orcas are split into many different ecotypes. These ecotypes have their own languages and behaviours, and they feed on completely different prey. Some orca ecotypes will only feed on fish, whereas others will feed on marine mammals. Young orcas only tend to hunt what they are taught to, and this is part of the reason why there haven't been any orca attacks on humans in the wild. Of course there have been a few human fatalities in captivity, but keeping these intelligent animals in captivity is extremely cruel, and in most cases it seems to drive them mad. In recent years orcas have started to attack and even sink boats, but this isn't done maliciously. Most experts agree that the orcas do this because it's fun, and they often leave the boats alone after they've taken off their rudder. In the cases where ships have been sunk by orcas, the orcas will leave the humans alone, but these animals will go after far more dangerous prey. Before we go any further, I'd just like to clear something up, because there's a common misconception about orcas. For some reason, lots of online articles like to claim that orcas aren't whales, but this isn't really true. Yes, the orca is the largest member of the oceanic dolphin family, but all dolphins are whales. I just wanted to clear that up because everyone likes to comment under these videos that orcas aren't whales, but really orcas are whales and they are dolphins. These powerful marine mammals have no natural predators, and they are the sole predators of many top marine predators. In today's video, I will be going through a few of these animals, and to find our first species, we will be heading to Antarctica. The leopard seal is one of the strangest looking seal species, and it has an almost reptilian-like appearance. It is the second largest species of seal in the Antarctic, second only to the southern elephant seal. It's one of the top predators in Antarctica, and it feeds on a wide variety of prey. Leopard seals have very strange teeth for a predator, and these teeth come in very handy when they're feeding on krill. They work in a very similar way to baleen, and they help to sieve krill from the water. Young leopard seals mostly only feed on krill, squid, and fish, but as they get larger, they can start to feed on larger prey. Famously, they like to feed on penguins, and they'll even offer dead penguins to divers. Like the orcas, leopard seals are very complex creatures, and they tend to be very curious around humans. There was one tragic incident in 2003, where a leopard seal dragged a researcher to her death. It's unknown if this was a deliberate act, or if the leopard seal was simply playing. The researcher's body was eventually recovered, and this just goes to show what these animals are capable of. They will happily feed on king, adeli, rock copper, gentoo, emperor, and chinstrap penguins, and they'll even feed on a variety of pinnipeds too. Crab eater, Weddell, Ross, Southern Elephant, and Antarctic fur seals are taken, and it would seem as though the leopard seal has nothing to fear in the Antarctic. Of course we know this not to be the case, as orcas will predate on leopard seals. Orcas are the only recognised predators of these animals, and there are five different orca ecotypes in the Southern Ocean. Some of these ecotypes specialise in feeding on pinnipeds, but the leopard seal is one of the more dangerous species. The leopard seal is capable of biting back, but it would do little damage against these giants, yet orca attacks on leopard seals are still relatively rare. I'm sure most people would be terrified to swim with both of these species, but there really is no competition between them. For our next species, we can head to all oceans around the world, as we will be taking a look at the sperm whale. The sperm whale is the largest of the toothed whales, and it's the largest toothed predator. It has one of the widest global distributions of any marine mammal, and it can be found all around the world. The sperm whale is the only living member of its genus, but there are three members of the sperm whale family. These animals have the largest brains on Earth, and they live a very mysterious life. These animals hunt creatures that we almost never see, and they do so in utter darkness. These animals can dive to around 2,250 meters below the surface, and this makes it the third deepest diving mammal alive today. 
In the depths, they use echolocation to find their prey, and they feed on a wide variety of animals. They will often go after deep sea sharks and skates, but they're most famous for feeding on giant squid and colossal squid. They often sport scars from battling these animals, and it's possible that we might never see this interaction. You'd think at the maximum size of around 18 meters, the sperm whale would have little to fear. This is the case for some fully grown males, but sometimes the females and young are taken by orcas. The orcas will often work together to isolate individuals, and then they will start to slowly wear away at them. After what can be multiple hours, the sperm whale will eventually die, and the orcas will have a feast. It really is impressive that they can take down such a large predator, but they can kill even larger whales. They will go after humpback whales and bowhead whales, and they are even known to target blue whales. This just shows us that nothing is safe from these predators, and they can prey on pretty much anything they wish to. For our final species, we will be heading to the temperate and subtropical waters of the world, as we will be taking a look at the great white shark. The great white shark is one of the world's most infamous predators, and it's feared by people around the world. Even though fatal shark attacks on humans are very rare, the great white shark kills more people than any other species of shark. These fish max out at around 6 meters long, and at this size they can feed on pretty much anything they want to. They feed on a wide variety of fish, but they will also feed on cetaceans, pinnipeds, sea turtles, and even seabirds. These sharks are one of the main reasons why some people don't like swimming in the ocean, but even these sharks fear the orca. Famously, orcas love to hunt sharks, and they do so with relative ease. They will often kill sharks just to eat their livers, as these livers are highly nutritious. Recently, some of these attacks have been caught on camera, and one of these attacks happened very recently. Off the coast of South Africa earlier on this month, a single orca was seen killing a great white shark. The orca completely dominated the young shark, and in less than two minutes, the orca was swimming off with the shark's liver. These interactions completely changed the way we look at great white sharks, and these sharks really fear the orcas. They will completely leave an area if they are confronted by orcas, and sometimes they won't come back for over a year. For the shark, this is quite a smart thing to do, as orca attacks on great white sharks are becoming more common. This yet again illustrates how capable these predators are, and really nothing rivals them. If you think you know of any other animals that could have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.